Mike. Damn it! I don't want to die to you! What's up, guys? This is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and this is time to head to hell on well, Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Pixel Remaster. Welcome back, guys. Last time we got Rosa and Kane back, and off screen I did some level grinding. For Rosa, she got some pretty good spells Kiraga, Many Dispel, more importantly, the Haste Spell. Yes, putting that to very good use. In the case, we're back in the guards because we got the Magma Rock from Kane last time, which, according to him, should open a path to the underworld so we can stop Gobez from getting these dark crystals. So in any case, yeah, put the magma rock in the well. What? What in the world? Whoa! Damn! Woo! That's some hot shit. <laughs> what the fuck is in that rock? God damn! And yet, nobody says anything about the massive explosion that just happened right in the back of their town. Wow. Wow. Whew. Well, there you go. <laughs> well, there you go. Alright, in any case, it's time to go to hell, viewers. Let's go! Huh. So, this is hell. Well, the... They got the magma, right? What's that tower doing down there? Isn't that the same one from the overworld? Hmm. The Red Wings. What? Bro oh, oh no! Don't tell me this is a Final Fantasy III scenario! Oh my god, it's Salonia all over again! Move! Get the ship out of the battlefield! Sid! How did they beat us here? Who are they fighting? I'm going to bust through the line. Hang on. Well, hurry, because we're about to get... Oh, shit! Ah! Sid, do something! Ah! Kind of don't want to fall in the lava. She won't hold together. We're going down. Shit! Ow. Mike. Uh. Oh my god. Did someone get the name of that of that ship? Ah, oh, damn. Uh, uh, Rosa. Huh? Is everyone all right? Yeah, but the Enterprise. Uh, we have to land. It's too risky to fly in this condition. We have no choice. Let's take her down. Damn. In any case, we got a new achievement. To the depths. Where the hell are we? Hmm, just Underworld. I like the music here, though, viewers. Listen to it for a sec. Oh, I love it. It sounds so much better in the... Oh, I love this theme. They did great. Thank you, Mr. Uematsu-san. In any case, let's check out... The Dwarfing Castle? Well, the people of Agar did say their ancestors were dwarves. Kind of shocked they're even alive down here. With all this magma. Lally ho Huh, well, I can't forget the old Dwarfing greeting. Go see, go see King Gault. Okay, I'll go do that then. In any case, hey there, how's it going? I'm Luca. My dolls disappeared. Have you seen them? Uh, I have not seen any dolls, but I'll keep that in mind, little lady. In any case, before we go and talk to the king, we got some shopping to do. In any case, let's see here. Um, ooh, they sell crosses. Nice. We're gonna be running into the curse status pretty soon. Might be a good idea to stock up on those. And now that we got Rose, I might want to pick up a few more Echoes, um, Echo Herbs. Just in case. Alright, what you got, baby? Mm. Ooh, Remedies! Yes! 
expensive as fuck, but very useful nonetheless. Of course, in the all chance Rosa happens to get kidnapped again, we'll have, you know, or either that or Cecil gets, you know, um, you know, muted, basically. Um, yeah, Echo, um, remedies. So that way we have an Asuna item. Definitely stock up on those, even if you have Rosa and Cecil in your party. You still want to have um, some remedies just in case. Never know. Like, you know, they might get KO'd or something like that, and you're about to die. Yeah. In any case, hey dude, can you move out the way? I kind of want to go shopping. Lolly ho, no entry. This room is off limits. Ugh. Well, I guess we're cock-blocked until we see the king. Ironic that they don't cock-block me from getting items, but when it comes to weapons and armor, oh no, you can't have that. Go talk to the king, ditch. Er, bitch. <laughs> ditch. Go fall in a ditch, bitch. In any case, welcome. You are... I'm King Glotz. At least I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. Ruler of the underworld. State your business. So you're Satan? Ah, nice to meet you. I didn't know Satan had a beard. <laughs> We've come in search of the dark crystals. Ah, I see. Same as the others. But from what I've witnessed, I gather you're not on their side. <laughs> Please tell me you still have the, the dark crystals. Unfortunately, they stripped us of two of them. Now only two remain in our possession. Wow! We're late again! Literally. The, the crystals, the castle's crystal is still safe. Our tanks fought them off. Yeah, but for how long? So those were your tanks we saw bailing the airships on our way here. Airships, you call them? You overworlders create many incredible wonders. Aye, we do. We got the man in back of us to thank for all that. Our tanks have taken quite a beating. Can you help us with your airship? We'd love to, but she got busted up real good in the crossfire before. I need to repair her first. We'll do anything in our power to help you repair your airship. Ah, uh, she won't last in the heat of this magma anyway. I'll fix her as best I can for now. But I need to fly back up to the surface and gather some mythil to, ar to arm her better. Sid, just button up and relax. I'll be back before you know it. Be careful, Sid. <laughs> no worries, I'm a tough old man. Yeah. But yeah, Sid leaves the party. I guess I should have told you guys to unequip him beforehand. <laughs> Assuming, of course, you're playing along with me at home, that is. Oops. Well, Sid shouldn't have had anything of, re of any value at all on him anyway, so I, I think you're good to go. King Glaw, where's the crystal? In the safest place in the castle, hidden behind my throne. <laughs> you honestly think that's the safest place? I think Yang can attest to this scene as his crystal was in the back of his king's throne and that still got taken. Huh? Huh? Yang, what's wrong? Someone is spying on us. What? What the fuck is that? Perhaps it was your imagination. <laughs> I wish it were so, but I definitely sense a presence. My monk's spidey senses are tingling. Open the door. Yes, sire. It might just be a hunch, but we might want to follow that strange child. Ch or ch ch What? It's locked! Yep, ho ho! The hell? Dolls? Are these the dolls that that Luca girl was talking about? What the fuck's with this creepy music? Okay, this is some weird shit. Yep, hoo hoo! Are you done? Guess who? Yep, Kako Abrinas. We're cute and we're scary. We love to kill. Oh god, I'm getting some Chucky vibes! Let's take their heads! Yeah! A gift for Gobez! Yippee hoo! Oh, fuck you! It's time for a boss fight! Versus Kalka Brina! Or Kalka and Brina. 
Now, basically, in order to deal with this fight, you need to get at least, well, get them all done one at a time. If you manage to do that, then you'll be able to, um, prevent yourself from having to fight the big boss, so to speak. So, yeah. Alright, let's get them all, as a matter of let's get them all out of the way, if we can. Might not be an easy task, though, because if we take too long, they're going to, you know, they're going to combine, you know, like a Megazord. So, you need to be, like, really quick with this fight. Let's go, people! Ow! Quit it. Huh. They don't hit that hard, but they're certainly annoying with it. Alright, let's get some haste on. Remember, let's get fast forward on too while we're at it. Nice! Let's go! Kick those bitches! Ha! Ow! Ow! Boom! Damn, Kane! God damn! Doing it right, baby! Doing it right! Kick that ass! Ha! Rotten ass little dial, bitch! Gotcha! Woo! We did it! And we didn't have to fight the big dog! Noise. Whew! That was close. The big dial is a little bit, bit little bit more dangerous though. Ow! You big bullies! But now Gobez knows about this place. He's gonna get ya! I'm gonna get ya! I'm gonna get ya, get ya, get ya, get ya! Sir Gobez! Uh-oh. Huh? Our paths cross again. No! No! Uh, go, Bez! Uh, son of a bitch! He is on our ass! We can't go anywhere! <laughs> I recommend... I commend you for finding your way to the underworld. To reward your efforts, I shall tell you why I'm collecting the crystals. Why would you tell your your arch enemies your evil plans? It seems kind of counterproductive. I acquire all eight in order to reactivate the Tower of Babel, or Babel, which leads to the moon. Legends say a power beyond our comprehension can be found there. On the moon? I need only one more crystal to turn my dream into reality. You have been a great aid to my quest. Even though you didn't want to help me out, you kind of helped me out anyway. So, you may be my enemies, but mwah, you're fabulously sexy and awesome. Because you helped me out in my master evil plans. Now, prepare for your final reward. Death! Because it's time for a boss fight versus Gobez. Yeah, we get to fight the big man himself. Noise. In any case, we might want to get some shell on, because he has some powerful magic, too. Now, this is good for Kane, because he can just jump in the air to avoid this bitch's attacks. So, take the hint. What? Hint, our power, your power pales in comparison to mine. I expected more. I didn't do anything yet! What? Open your eyes. <laughs> And gaze upon true terror. Shadow, come forth! The ninja? No, the dragon. <laughs> ah! What the? Yang! What the hell? No, not the mage! Shh. Farewell, Mike. Damn it, I don't want to die to you! It is your destiny. Huh? What the fuck is this? That's the mist dragon! My shadow dragon! But how? Destroyed by mist? Who did that? Uh, are you okay, Mike? You should be able to move now. That voice. Who is it? Ugh. Well, seeing as I can move, I can now kick your- Rydia? Is that Rydia? Oh my god, it is Rydia! Wow, she's back! She's alive! Let's take this opportunity first to revive our party members because we're kind of about to die. 
right here. Really? I just got her up. Okay, good. Thank you. I was about to say, I just got her up, asshole. <laughs> but yeah, Rini is back. And she looks so different. She doesn't have white magic anymore. What? Oh my gosh, she has new spells. And new summons. Oh, yes. Oh. Ow. Ow. Alright, well, uh, okay, fuck you. We just got her back and now you're trying to kill her? You asshole. Well, yeah, we got rid of you back. Alright, let's take this opportunity now we're now that we're together and kick that ass! Alright, let's do it! Now, in order to deal with Gobez, you need to deal some powerful ass damage to get this fight done over with. Do not waste any time because if you delay and shit, he's going to kick your ass. So, let's do this up. Titan! Yeah, viewers, remember this guy? Yeah! <laughs> he kicked our asses last time. This can't be! But... Oh! We... We did it! We beat Gobez! Yes! We did it! We defeated Gobez! Rydia! You... Girl, you look so different! What happened to you? Leviathan took me to the Land of Summons. The Land of Summons? What's that? It's the world of the monsters I can summon. <gasps> what? But how? We became friends during my stay. I learned a lot there. I can't use white magic anymore, but I've grown strong as a summoner. Wow, but you look so much older. Time flows differently there, so I may have aged a bit. Rydia, you were like, what, six? Last time we saw you. Now you are like a grown woman. You look like in your, in your 20s. God damn. Quite the facelift. <laughs> and age lift, too. I'll say you're all grown up now. <laughs> viewers. Viewers? Our little summoner lady has just grown up. <laughs> I feel like a proud daddy -o. Oh my god. <laughs> Our little Riddy is all grown up. She looks so beautiful. You're so pretty. Mike, who is she? She's the girl we found and missed, remember? She survived? <laughs> yup. Fortune favors us indeed. Rydia, we owe you our lives. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, if you hadn't shown up, Gobez would have killed me for sure. You don't have to you don't have to thank me. The Queen of the Land of Summer said to me that a great force is secretly at work. We must confront it together. And so we shall. Yeah, we got Rydia back! Yes! Now we have a mage again! Woohoo! Yes! Yes! Yeah, uh-huh. I cannot perish. No. No! What? No! What the hell is this? His... No! His hand took the crystal! What the hell is this? So we kick his ass. He looks like he seemingly dies. But no, his body disappears, but his hand, disembodied hand, grabs the crystal. That's bullshit. Wow. Forgive me, Gobez is took in the crystal. One crystal left. We must protect it at all costs. I don't understand how the fuck we lost that one. You know what we should have did? We should have walked past Gobez's corpse and just took the crystal. Yeah, but no, we walk away leaving his disembodied
somebody's hand to take it. That's some fucked up shit. But yeah, where do we find the last crystal? In the sealed cavern to the southwest, where Gobez is no doubt heading. Do not worry. You can't enter without the key. I have a request, if you will. We'll do anything. It was our fault the crystal was stolen. I want you to retrieve the seven crystals from the Tower of Babil. That won't be easy. I presume it'll be fortified. Hmm. Don't worry. I have a plan. You'll sneak in and seize the crystals while our tanks distract them. The plan must be executed immediately before Gobez returns from the sealed cavern. But he can't even enter the place, right? What do you think? A large force might be waiting. It's a risk. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, I think. As His Majesty says, now might be our only chance. All right. We'll go to the tower and reclaim the crystals. Right, let's do so then. But, all right, we got Rydia back, viewers. Yes. And Rydia joins at nearly the same levels that we're at. So, that's pretty good. What the hell? She has a whip? Do you have the whip? <laughs> yeah, so not only is Rydia stronger, but she has a dominatrix whip. Yeah. That, yeah. Let's just leave it at that. In any case, the whip can also cause paralysis. But it might still be worth giving her, like, some elemental rods, just in case, at the very least, to boost her magic evasion. But really, the whip is fine for now. It's, it, it's all good. She also has the Sage's Mitter, which is really good for her, as well as the Sage's Surplus. Now that Rydia is... Go now that she doesn't have white magic anymore, she's going to be relying on her intelligence stats, because that's the main stat that black mages use for their magic. She also has the Ruin Armor that prevents silence, and I think we're able to buy those here at the, um... At, at, at the castle. Luca, I'm sorry about your dolls. How dare they use my dolls for something like that? I know, right? Wait, what? There's an exit in the castle's basement. You may leave when you're ready. Good luck. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Wow. It kind of sucks that we lost the... It kind of sucks that we lost the King's Crystal, because it was kind of our fault that it happened, but... Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> I mean, considering what we've been through, we got rid of you back as a result of our failure anyway. So, you know, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> In any case, we get a new, some new weapons here. We got the, um, the Dwarven Axe. Now, its accuracy is all right, but it's not the best. Look at that, 69 accuracy. Mm-hmm. So accurate, right, viewers? 69s are so accurate. It's so suckingly accurate. <clears throat> and in any case, dual suckage. Shh. And in any case, we get the flames, um, you know, the flame lance here. And also cast fire when used as a battle item. Let's get that for Kane. The flame sword we already have. Sadly, that cannot cast fire as a battle item, so don't try it. Um, we got the great bow here, but that is weaker for Rosa. And we got the blinding arrows, which is all right, I guess. I might as well get them just in case. So yeah, the more arrows, the better, because that's Rosa's main real weapon to use, if you want to, that is. Or you could just have her go like pure mange and just use a staff. There's that too. But yeah, all the other items here we got from like the tower is out, like the shield and the flame mail. Now, let's... Oh, actually, no. Kane needs one. Let's get one then. All right. We can also get some, some rune armlets. Now, let's see here. Um, the next dungeon that we're going to... Um... No, I, I thought they had rune... I thought there's some rune armlets there, but no. Viewers, I recommend that you get at least two more. Or rather, yeah, at least get two more. One for Rosa and one for another party member later on. Trust me on this. The silence prevention is badass on this armlet. Get two if you have the money. Trust me, you'll see why you'll want to later. Speaking of which, let me equip Rosa with that. 
There you go. All right. Now that I think about it, Cecil can't equip that, can he? Let me see. Nope, he can't. Damn. It's kind of odd that Cecil can't equip that. Actually, what the fuck is this? I saw something in the middle. Yeah, I barely... I almost missed this. Oh, it's a pup. Hey, dude. Always fighting, never dancing. I like dancing more than fighting. Lady who? I gotta dance. Don't tell me. There's dwarf strippers. Alright, let's check it out. Um... Oh... What kind of dance is this? <laughs> I danced myself dizzy. I'm gonna be sick. Okay, just don't throw up on my cape. Thanks, bruh. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, a secret passage! Where do you lead to? Delve Team Office. 1991. Abandoned? Wait, it's not here? Wow, they got rid of it! Well, viewers, in the older versions of Final Fantasy IV, there was a office that you could find here that had the Final Fantasy XIV Delve team here that you could talk to. I, I can't believe they got rid of it. Why, though? I mean... It was not it was not really important or significant here But for them to just get rid of it outright That I don't know something that, that kind of rubs me the wrong way Hmm. Well, it is what it is it, it, Whatever King Grub wants you to use our treasures to put our treasures the treasures to good use Okay, thanks. I'll do so <laughs> By all means take my money take my treasure Take all of it. It's all yours, baby. With this secret passage! Uh, yes! More vodka cider. Love it. Love it. Alright. Let's see. Is there any more secret passages? No? Okay, I guess not then. Let's head on up. Now, this one's a little bit more annoying. Got the power armlet. And by annoying, I'm talking about getting the treasure chest in this little section. Oh, um, the power armlet. Strength plus five. Lowers our defense a little bit, but it's not that bad. Actually, this is pretty good for Cecil. Alright, cool. Actually, this might be worth getting to Yang, or giving to Yang, though. But I think I'm going to hold off on getting it to Yang, or giving it to Yang, because there's a good reason. I mean, you could give it to Yang, but I recommend not giving it to Yang. You'll see why soon enough. I don't want to spoil it, but you might not want to give it to him. Just a small little pro tip. So, yeah. Alright, you know what? They must have made this a little bit more easier, because I could have sworn that getting the treasure chest in that section was going to be a bit more annoying. Hmm, oh well. Whew. We're not done here yet. We still got more treasures to find. Sorry if my throat sounds a little raspy. <clears throat> Just woke up a little while ago as of this recording. So, yeah, my throat is a little bit hoarse. But nothing some coffee can't fix. In any case, you can summon the fat chocobo there, but why, why would you want to? If you have permission from the king, then you may enter. Enter what? Does that lead to the basement? Let's see. Ah, okay, good. Yeah, it does lead to the basement. All right, good to know. But yeah, that's where we want to go to if we need to, if we want to head back out to the world map. Where's this lead to? Ah, it's the infirmary. Hey there, how's it going? This is the infirmary. Yeah, I kind of figured. We doors are tough, but even we get hurt once in a while. Yeah, I hear you guys like to build a lot of shit. And dig a lot of shit. So, yeah. Pretty good, though. I mean, they built some really good shit. Like Final Fantasy 1. You know, you get the Excalibur from the dwarves. They're pretty good. 
In any case, before we leave, let's head to the Western Tower now and get some more treasure. You're fighting Golbez too? Take the treasure upstairs. I hope it helps. Thanks, dude. I'll do so. All right. The dwarves in Final Fantasy IV are so are so nice. Like seriously, I mean all the I mean all the dwarves in the other Final Fantasy games are nice too. You know, like Final Fantasy. Well, now that I think about it, Final Fantasy IX's dwarves. Well, we barely really got, got to know them that much. Hey, there's Naming Way. What's he doing down here? Hmm. But yeah, like they talked about food and shit a lot. But we, they did treat us right, I guess. But not a, you know, not a lot. Whatever. In the case, the Black Belt Gi. Ooh, now this I will give to Yang. Not bad. And a stamina boost. Yang got that monk stamina, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. <laughs> I mean, come on. He's a monk. He has muscles. Lots of mm, muscles. Yeah, yeah. In any case, hey, dude. Well, oh, no, no, I don't want to change my name. Why is he in hell, though? Did he do something bad? Did he give someone the wrong name? Evil! No, <laughs> no, no, but yeah. It's nice to see that they, you know, they just put naming weight just there, you know? In any case, there's a door out here. What does this lead to? Just now notice this. Oh, well, he's outside. All's well. Uh, good to know, I guess. Hey, dudes. Is the overworld full of evil? Huh. <laughs> you, you wish. Gobez has retreated. Yes, I kind of I kind of saw that myself. In any case. Huh. Well, I guess they don't have much to say. One thing I would like to ask them is how the hell they have a fucking, um, Okay, that's one thing I don't understand. How the hell are they able to just, you know, live in an area like this that has all this lava and shit? Like, it's, it must be hot as hell in this place. But it's like, oh, it, it's all good. Just odd. Hmm, whatever. Well, you couldn't pay me to live in hell. <laughs> but, yeah, it's too much heat and, you know... Heat is not really a good ally, even in the summertime. Now, viewers, my man, he loves summer, but me, I'm not a fan of summer. Summer, it, me and summer don't mesh well. I'll just say that much. In any case, yeah, because the heat, wait, what? Rupert Kante, the strongest of the four elemental lords at the Tower of Babel. Rupert Kante? Hmm, Rupert, I can't tank. No, no, Ruby, I can't, Ruby, I can't tame you. Uh, you know what, never mind. I was trying, I was trying to make a pun with that dude's name, but it didn't pan out well. Oh, uh, Ruby can't tame that dick. No, no, no. Ruby, uh, Ruby Carbuncle can tank. You know what, never mind. Or how about this? Ruby Glacier Lee can tank. Fail. You know what, viewers? You know what? Never mind. <laughs> All right. Now, in any case, in order to get to the Tower of Babel, we need to go to the. We need to go a little ways to the northwest. Now, the monsters here aren't that bad, but just watch out. Now, if memory serves, the underworld has an annoying encounter rate, but they might have tamed that in the um in the Pixel Remaster. Hopefully. But with Rydia in our party, we don't really gotta worry. Some of the enemies here are weak to ice, seeing as we're in the underworld. So, in any case, the Goblin Captain, uh, 655 HP, I believe. The Armando, 792. And the Black Lizard. Let's see. Hmm. I don't, actually, I don't even fucking see. Oh, you know what? Okay, never mind, viewers. Sorry about that. I got the fucking um, monster's names mixed up. <laughs> Sorry about that. My B. My B. Wow, that that was really dumb of me. All right. Um. Okay, here we go. Yeah, sorry about that, viewers. I had got the wrong ass bestiary. 
All right, let's let's continue on then. Oh, we can't even go that way. <sighs> the way they structure the underworld is really annoying, though. Cause they put all these in different ass locations, which makes it hard to to walk to. Which makes me wonder. I wish we had an airship that we could just fly there, but no. Unfortunately, we lack a sea, so unfortunately, no airship right now. Let's see. We have the majority of the enemies here. Ooh, we got floats. Nice. They all float, baby. But yeah, the majority of the enemies down here aren't that hard, so honestly, I don't even really need to list their HP. Just use Titan and Shiva, and that's pretty much all you really gotta do. There's not really much of anything to discuss here. So, yeah, pretty much. Goodbye. Alright. Hmm. Almost there. Alright. Whoa! Okay, Sorry, viewers, I looked away for one second. <laughs> I looked away for one second and the fucking random encounter rate just like, boom. Hey, how's it going? Oh my god. Move! Diamond to school! Noise. Whew. Alright, are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? Yeah. Oh! Okay, I guess we're there. Assuming I can get into the tower. Whoa! Okay, moving. There you go. God damn. As soon as I get into the place. <laughs> get out of my way. Move, bitch. Diamond to soul. God, I just love spamming that. Thank you, game. In any case, viewers, we've arrived at the tap the tower babble, but can we get the crystals back? Or is Gobaz gonna try and, you know, con us again? Like like with that floating hand. I wonder if the floating hand gives jobs. If you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Next time! You guys enjoy, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for getting this from me. Hit the bells to notify whenever I upload new stuff on YouTube. Got something to say? Leave a comment. Till next time, dudes and dudes. Mike from Race Break Gaming, and I hope your race breaks. Have a great day, bros and brosettes. Smut you later, bitches.